Hello my YouTube friends. How are you all doing? I hope you all are doing great. So in this particular session, I'll be explaining you on how to read the subject or email body from MSD file. Now in my previous recording, I have explained you on how to download the attachment from MSD file. Okay. If you haven't gone through it, please do go through it. It's if you just click on the I button at the top right side, it will take you to the uh, recording a video session of downloading the attachment from MSG file. Now, this particular session is uh, the extended uh, version or extended session of uh, my previous recording session, which I've just explained. So I guess uh, without ado, let's get started. Just like yesterday, we need one process called start process to trigger our VB script. Now we need to write a VB script. Before that, let me show you input file. Okay. This is my uh, MSG file. And this is how it looks like. This is the email sender. This is subject. This is body. Let me close this. Now let me go back to my UiPath Studio. Let's open a notepad. Okay. Sorry about that. Let's open a notepad. Let's start writing our code. Now what I have did is I have created three variables application email files just like my previous video which I where I have explained what are these three variables is for just to give you a brief uh, description app represents outlook application email represents email object or message object or mail messages file represents the file path of msg file Let's copy my MSG file path. Go back to this. Let's set the value for file now, right? Now set the application, create object, open bracket, type outlook dot application close close bracket set email equal to application dot create item from template file the one the uh, msg file path after this to get the data what i'll do is i'll declare an another two variables which is the shell and button code okay now let me set the value for shell dot create object I'll explain why I have did this this two variable what is the use of this in a while okay. well, two. okay this is where this is the reason that i have used these two variable basically what i'm trying to do over here is that i am using i am creating a windows object using that windows object i'm instructing uh, the script to open a pop-up window in that pop-up window i will print email subject email sender email address
and then email button. Let me maximize this. So what I did now is that first I created the three objects application email file. I have set the values for these three elements or these three variable. Again, I have created two more variables. What is the need of this to creating the variable is because I need to uh, create a pop up window so that I can print the subject, uh, the details that I want that is subject, sender email address, and email body. So, to do that, I need to set the shell uh, with the win window script uh, that is w script dot shell, create an object of this, and then use this value to open the pop up. Now, after doing this, save in your project directory with VBS as an extension. All file, save as. Now, this is done. Okay. Let's close this. Let's go back to our code. Let's assign the VB script which we just created. Let's save this and let's run. It ran and here we get got the information so with this was the test uh, the subject this is the sender and this is the body now how do we print this in uipath this is the pop-up window right so we cannot access through uipath window or we cannot use in a further uipath code so how do we do that to do that we can use the uh, get text activity so for that since this is a modern uh, experience uh, platform what we can, what i need to do is i need to look for yeah use application or browser okay just a second a bit slow and highlight this now here application path it gets created remove that that is not needed for us and then get text if you don't know uh, about the modern experience uh, i have made one video related to the difference between modern experience and uh, classic experience please do go through it so that you will be able to understand uh, what is this modern experience that i'm currently talking about Okay. It will help you to understand even more on uh, what I'm trying to or how do I uh, selecting or performing the extraction or uh, all these activities. Okay. So now let's create a variable. Uh, let's say extracted uh, data. Right. Now let me print a log message. an info extracted data okay now let me click on oh, oh yeah let's do one more thing let's close this pop-up right why do we need that pop-up click let's give the selector of ok button right now uh, for the this part let's see if we can increase the timer by default we have 30 seconds let's give it as 60 the, since my system is a bit slow it might uh, uh, have some issue with the pop-up right will get loaded anyways now let's run this bot okay and what we need to expect from what we are going to expect from this is that first this particular script runs it creates a pop-up with the subject email address and body this particular element will run then uh, which extract the information from pop-up block and then it clicks on the ok button and it displays the message let's see how it is going okay pop-up block came
looks like there is some issue with the selector so let's do one thing let's go and check Okay, so this has some issue. What we'll do is we'll revalidate this and uh, let's give it as this. Okay, okay let's confirm this. Let's see if this selector works. Yeah, this works. Now let's see what about this particular selector. Does this work? Highlight the target element. It does work. So now all we need to do is that rerun the bot and see. done so it get, got the information and then it clicked and then it uh, displayed the value so this is what the information that it displayed right so yeah that's how you get the data from uh, msg file that's all for today thank you for watching uh, thank you for all of your support uh I, let's meet again next week until then stay safe stay healthy goodbye